Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? It's your friend Sam, aka General Ape, coming at you with yet another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked here on 8 Bit Plays. Before we start, I made a promise and I'm gonna fulfill that promise. I wanna throw a huge shout out to my good friend in front of the channel, Mr. Michael. Uh, he's been watching the channel religiously for like a long time now, and I wanna shout him out. He uh, actually started streaming like last year, and I've never shouted him out, which I feel really bad for. Uh, his link will be in the description below, Repard99, there's your shout out, there you go. Alright, back to business, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back into another episode of Shipwrecked. I want to play one more as Wilson, because I really want to test, really, really want to start learning a little bit more about what's in the game. I feel like last playthrough, we didn't really go through a lot of... Um, what shipwrecked a shipwrecked actually has so i really want to go through that this game and i really want to know how to do all the different things in the game and i want to start learning a little bit more because there's like volcanoes and stuff in in this game apparently and i haven't seen any of those things i'm glad i actually did see, see the ship though i can't talk right now uh and i'm glad that that's where we died because we kind of know generally that there is a big area there unless that's not the only shipwreck uh, in which case we have a lot more to see. I expected that area to be a little bit bigger though, so maybe that actually isn't the only area with a shipwreck. Uh, I know, I know, I gotta be, I gotta be a little bit more consistent in, in putting out these episodes. I, I understand, I know. I, I was gonna address it during at the beginning of this episode, but I had to do that shout out. I do gotta be a little bit more consistent in pushing out these episodes because there was a time, there was a time back in the heyday of this channel that I would be pumping out videos like every day at like noon PST and that was amazing and that was really cool but I haven't had the time to sit down and really record a whole bunch of episodes cons consistently uh, which is what I'm trying to do today today is the day that I graduate so that's gonna be a thing I really really wanna try to get a little bit more consistent when it comes to uh, pushing things out in terms of videos I really want to go back to my old schedule of one video a day every noon that'd be every every 12 p.m. every day at noon that'd be cool I'd like to do that that'd be nice I can't make an axe yet apparently because I didn't pick up this flint that I told myself I was gonna pick up so right away let's make an axe and then we're gonna make a machete and then we're gonna make a pick I think that's what we're gonna shoot for let's see I don't really want to take a dip into there yet. There seems to be pretty much the standard stuff. Is there a fishing net somewhere? Fishing net. No, that's a net. Fishing rod. Okay. We still need... Thatch pack. Oh, what is that? Oh, I can carry a backpack. Okay. That's helpful. Thatch pack. Hatchback. I'd like to drive a hatchback. Why not, you know? What is there to talk about this episode? This episode, I'm going to dedicate my time of talking into talking about... What is there to talk about? For some reason, I was sitting on the toilet. I was literally sitting on the toilet, and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about during this episode. And for some reason, the word anime popped into my head. I don't know why. It was weird. I don't want a coconut to fall on my head, but I feel like it's gonna... Okay, or not. Thatch back, okay. I want to be making that thatch back. Uh, I don't know why, but anime popped in my head for some reason. I miss anime, man. I, I used to watch anime a pretty decent amount back in the day. Uh, it seems like I'm talking a lot about what I used to do back in the day. I still do stuff. It's not like I don't do any stuff anymore. But yeah, I used to watch a lot of anime when I was, like, a year ago, probably. Can I- I can pick a seashell? Sea cells by the seashore? I- I have terrible. Maybe you could sell these, okay. Hold that for now. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of anime. Like, I used to watch Naruto, Fairy Tail. What is this? Wild Boar House? Are these the new pigs? I haven't seen this yet. What a boring house. Oh. <sighs> Give. Okay, never mind. It's a boar, okay. What a boar, am I right? Yeah. I'm... Okay, so yeah, I used to watch, like, Naruto, Shippuden, Fairy Tail, all these different animes. And now I don't. I feel like I've I've gotten away from that. I miss anime. I really do. I want to hop back into Naruto at some point. But there's just so much filler. I'm like 100 episodes behind. I really don't want to dedicate my time 
into hopping in where I was because I don't remember the storylines and it's just it's just a mess. I really want to get back in the game though, in the in the in the anime game. One that I did watch recently because it was kind of relevant to me was Kids on the Slope. Kids on the Slope was great. Uh, I I quite enjoyed that. That was a solid anime. Uh, it is the first. It was weird to be hopping into. If you've watched it, if you don't watch anime, none of what I'm saying right now is relevant to you in any way whatsoever. I also have to clear my nose. Give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, none of what I'm saying is relevant to you in any way, not even in the slightest. But if you do watch anime and you haven't watched um, Kids on the Slope, definitely find the time to try to watch it. I think it's like 12 episodes. It's about jazz, it's about kids, it's about a slope, it's about school and about leaving school, and it's a story about moving on, and I really like it. It's really good. It was really good when I watched it. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a solid anime. I, I enjoy it. If you enjoy more character-driven anime, uh, then it could be for you. It, also, if you're, if you're graduating high school, it, it could be the anime for you, because it's also... It deals a lot with, uh, I knew it, I freaking knew it. That takes 10 health away? That is, that is the dankest of memes. Batch pack, okay. How many does that fit? Only four? That's weak. Uh, I want to make a pickaxe right now as well. Nope, nope. Organize inventory. What is that? What was that? Can I eat those? Okay, I'm gonna assume I can eat those. There seems to be a whole a whole lot more stuff that I can actually eat in this. Uh, in this version of Don't Starve, like we got the limpets, we got the coconuts, seeds and berries are always there, of course. But I don't think you've ever had the ability to eat them. Can I pick it again? I'm genuinely curious. I should probably eat the limpets. Try to eat the limpets now to see if they can actually do anything for me if they're actually a viable source of food because if they are we're gonna be picking these rocks like nobody's business I'll tell you that right now so if you notice now I'm trying to play a little bit slower I'm trying to stay on this one island for a little bit I'm not super eager to be hopping on a raft just yet mainly because of the fact that I really wanna I think the strategy that I'm gonna be tackling with this is that I'm gonna try to actually I can make a hatchet okay I was about to say I'm going to try to actually explore each island that I land on so that I know the layouts of each biome and stuff like that. Because if I, if I begin to learn the layouts of each biome on each island, then each time I go on an island, I'm not going to have a time where I'm going to be confused as to what I'm doing or what I'm seeing. So essentially, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to... I still don't have a zoom. Can I actually... Let's, let's see if we can change con we can change controls okay then never mind should probably make fire like right here pretty good place to make a fire if I do say so myself so if I can if I cook the limpets okay it actually does do stuff for me I'm not gonna try to eat it raw I'm just gonna cook it uh, I might Okay, yeah, no, that's not a thing. That's a bad noise. Okay. So we can actually eat the limpets and get a decent amount of health. So the not starving as aspect of don't starve is kind of going away because there seems to be a lot of stuff you can actually eat in the game now, which is kind of weird, if I'm being honest. Yeah, there seems to be a decent amount of stuff you can actually eat now, so... I'm not super 100% worried. I want to also make, just in case, I want to, I'm not going to bother doing that. What is this? Chest, sign, hay wall, pretty standard stuff, sand castle. Ooh, I kind of genuinely want to make that. Yeah, uh, what else? I probably should be trying to get more rocks as well. You want to be stockpiling rocks. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I really am trying to remember my old strategies when it comes to this game. Uh, I want to try to max out my stacks on twigs and grass before laying down a base just so that I have everything. I also want to have like two stacks of rocks because rocks becomes a really necessary thing that you need to have in your inventory to build 
certain things to make a base really early. So that's something as well. We've pretty much picked the front part of the beach completely clean. We haven't necessarily explored down here. Sandy pile. I'm, I'm assuming that's where we're going to be able to get the sand for the sand castles. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Because I continue, I want to continuously be moving. I'm taking a little bit of a different approach to my old Don't Starve strategies. Oh, I don't need to be picking any more of that. My old Don't Starve strategy was to cover as much ground as possible. Uh, cover as much land as possible as soon as you pop into the game. Whereas in this, I'm kind of taking this in a slow, more methodical pace because I really want to see what each uh, island holds for me. So this seems to end right there. We might as well go to the end so we have it mapped out. A little peninsula right there kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I, th this is going to be the run that I'm going to take a little bit more seriously because I really I don't want to have another embarrassing death. If you, if you guys know me, you guys have watched the channel for a decent amount of time, I think you guys have somewhat of a grasp of how seriously I take Don't Starve and how I used to be really good at this game, but I've kind of fallen away from my my old skills, which is a little bit sad. So with the coconuts, I know for a fact I can fill myself up for a pretty decent amount. Shout out to the guys also who've been uh, commenting a lot on the videos. I know Wyatt popped in there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wyatt. Uh, and then Caleb, I think his name is. I, honestly, dude, I'm be real with you. I genuinely keep forgetting your name. And I apologize. I really do apologize. I definitely appreciate appreciate you uh, commenting on the videos and watching everything. But I genuinely forget your name. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Caleb. Shout out to Caleb for always popping in on the channel and uh, commenting. It's always really nice seeing more people in there especially since I've been gone for a while I know it surprises me there's a pretty decent amount of new subs on the channel uh, I'm just keep all my food in here there's a there's a lot of new subs on the channel which is genuinely surprising okay so we pretty much tapped out this whole area in terms of exploration I want to see if I can jettison off can I make this okay I want to see if I can pop over to another island before it gets dark. That'd be nice. I don't want to go into the large, uh, the deeper waters where the waves are. Because I really want to try to focus and find another island if that's possible. This is the same island, you moron. Now I want to try to find another island if at all possible. I already see the deep waters, so I don't I wanna try to stay away from that. If I can find another island though, that'd be nice. If not, I don't wanna go too too far away from our original island because of the fact that you can't carry a torch. I mean Oh man dude, what is that? Lobster, okay. I think that's lobster. Um, man, I really don't want to be going too far away from this island. I don't want to be going all the way back first. Man. I feel like the only way we're going to find a, a normal island is if we head into one of those isosceles. Isosceli? Isosceli? Plural of isosceles. Drop in the comment section below. I don't even, I don't even know what it is. Another lobster den, it seems to be. More seaweed. Okay, so we're just going to head back into the first island now. For now, we're going we're gonna to go back to the first island. When it switches into the next day cycle, I think we're actually going to try to find another island. We're going to try to go towards the... Uh, we're going to head into the uh, the deeper parts of the waters so that we can explore a little bit more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this one safe. I really am. I want to see if I can play this a little bit safer. 
I genuinely want to attack that, but I don't want to attack it if I don't have armor on, which I'm not going to have for a decent amount of time now. Yeah, I genuinely don't see any other... Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and pick a little bit of seaweed, see if we can cook that, and maybe use it as a food source. If we can use seaweed as a, as a, as a viable food source, then I think we're going to be okay, because there, there seems to be a whole lot of stuff I can just eat. I actually haven't gone this direction yet. Okay, it seems to just turn into even more of... Well, this isn't. I think we're gonna we're gonna follow that direction. We're gonna go in this direction. Uh, what is this west? Is there? Yeah, we're we're gonna go west. Uh, when we when it turns into the next day cycle, we're gonna try to at least. So we'll drop down here. Remember where our boat is. We can kind of see it on our mini map. Mini only because of the fact that I don't have a scroll wheel to zoom into anymore because my scroll wheel on my mouse broke. That's a thing. Yeah, we're, we're playing this. Ah, oh, jeez. Crackers, really? So there's snakes in those trees. Good to know. Snakes in the trees. Do not mess with those trees. Good to know. If it was just one, I'd fight the just one. But because it's two, I'm not even gonna mess with it. Do not mess with these trees. Okay. Unless you have armor, of course. Since might as well just do this now. Plop one down. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this. See. It does actually work as a viable source of food. So that's something we're gonna be focusing on a lot. We're gonna be trying to use that as a viable source of food also we can use these limpets as food which is nice there also seems to be a whole lot more stuff that can kill us so maybe that's how clay is balancing out the fact that there's a lot of food supply the fact that there's more things to kill us does this thing really want to go right now Monster meat, okay, makes sense. Doesn't take too many hits, so I'm gonna... Okay, sure. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Because of that, though, I am... What? Can I... Can I not... Oh, I have to actually... There we go. Okay. Cook one. Eat it. Let's get some sanity back. More and more and more. We don't have to be stopping to picking up to pick up food that much anymore. Because we have so many coconuts, so we'll be good there. It seems to it seems to put up a lot of food as or a lot of hunger as well. Uh, so that solves our hunger problem for a decent amount of time. We're going to be traveling in this direction to see if we can find ourselves another island to explore. We've pretty much charted out that, pretty much that entire section. Okay, so it seems to be just another section of deep water. So my theory is that if you cross this deep water long enough, you will either happen to cross a... Isosceles or just straight up another island. We're gonna see if we can travel in a straight line because if we travel in a straight line, maybe we'll possibly be able to catch another island. You don't want to hit the backs. It seems to me that you don't want to hit the backs of these waves. You instead want to hit the fronts or or the you don't want to hit the sides rather or the backs because it gets you wet if you hit the fronts. I think you can get carried by it. It's good to know. I really need to stop hitting that the hitbox on these waves. Kind of ridiculous. If you're uh, not going into education to learn about marine biology, let me tell you that these are. This kind of is not how waves work and function. Is it? Are we really going to have to try to find 
an isosceles or something because I feel like we should have happened upon another island at this point why did I do that road to gunpowder I feel like I don't want to be messing with gunpowder so it seems oh is this an island this is definitely something more shallow water means island is close I do need to stop me being wet we are a pretty decent space away from the last area we were in I am wet which is shooting down my sanity a lot oh boy man this is a pretty long distance to travel between islands but we did manage to find ourselves an island we're near these snake trees as well and a spider that's not the biggest vote of confidence that I have that this island is going to be a viable place to to make base um I haven't seen any uh, this is our first monkey we've seen for sure there be e evil right this is, do I still there be evil okay sure man what is that poisonous hole is that merm hut oh no is this this is a swamp it's a swamp we're in a swamp. We are in, what is that, a flup? Flup is probably up there in one of the funniest names for a don't starve mob out there. We seem to be dropping, oh man, is this just swamp biome? That's terrible. What a garbage island. Oh crap. Oh my lord. We're really de dealing with this right now. You remember when I said we would be playing this safer? Yeah, I lied. Can confirm not playing this safer. Wow, those monkeys have huge bite. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. I want to see if I can find myself some more flowers uh, to be turning into a garland. I want to find myself some more flowers so I can turn them into a garland. There's one right there. Shoot up my sanity a little bit. I need to be focusing on these monkeys are actually Satan though. I hate this island, but I really don't want to be on it. I hate this island and I really don't want to be on it, but I really don't want to leave either. Simply, I think we might be forced to though, to be honest with you. Man, that stinks. What? This is hard, man. Like. If you don't get lucky and get spawned on a solid island, or near a solid island, then you're kind of screwed because, yeah, there's really nothing you can do about it. Like, uh, this is really not a good island. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a tough time on this island. Sprung a leak? We sprung a leak? We're gonna sink? If we sink, I'm gonna be so salty, dog. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. I think, I think, I think, I think, we'll be able to make it to the other side of this island. It looks like we are actually going to have to be making this island our home for the night. I, I hate it. I really dislike this island. But it seems to me that this is the one we're going to be calling our, calling home, at least for tonight really dislike this island if I'm being honest with you if we can get our if we can get a fire down pretty much at the end of the edge of this island I think we'll be safe away from the monkeys and away from uh, away from the monkeys and the spiders if we can do that be nice uh, let's go ahead and eat Might as well cook them all. I don't know why I ate one without it being cooked. A little bit dumb on my part. Okay. Try to get some health back. Eating the coconuts doesn't really give us the most health in the world. Which means eating the flowers probably will does pretty much the same thing. I don't know why I did that. 
I already cooked them, I'm a moron. Okay, we're gonna stop. I don't wanna mess with with spiders either, so I'm not gonna bother knocking a tree down. So this island was a bust, clearly. Um Man, okay, so my theory as of right now is that you need you have to be really fast on the first island have to get all of the necessary supplies that you need because if you saw at the beginning I was really slow on the first island trying to gather a bunch of materials you have to gather a bunch of materials while being really fast and then jettison off to the nearest island which you can which you would hope has the things that you would need that's the ideal situation if not and you're in my position you have to just be continuously moving in between islands you have to check each island super fast until you find one that has the resources you need to make a solid base I think that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the next episode because I think this episode's pretty much done for us yeah 26 minutes this is the longest one we've put out in a long time man I can't believe I talked for that long it was good though ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna go ahead and end this up episode off here if you have any comments, drop them down in the comment section below. And please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.